but I can't, I'm not going to go down there right now because I think if I go down there, it's, um, it's like, it just, you know, we leave. Um, and we, I mean, we, granted, we do get to come back in the, the station, but it's not till later. So, uh, all right. Can that bring me to fine? Thank you. I'm, I have a theory about this. I don't know the combination to this one, but I'm going to try the same one as the other one. No, I'm okay. Because they, um... In, in the other one, they said, oh, we moved the safe with the password to this down there. Make sure you change it. So I thought, oh, maybe they moved that one and put a new one in with the old password and then wanted to change that password. I don't know. I think I read that file wrong. So, yeah, I don't know the password to that. Whoa. Oh shit. He's right in here in the room with me. <laughs> this sucks. I can't believe he followed me over. I mean, I can, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not happy about it. I'm just going to do all this stuff now, because it's just like, whatever. It'll free up inventory spots, at least. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, this game. No! Come on, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, God. safe out here God dang. who thought I'd be safe outside oh man okay so finally we got the stars uh, god dang that was a lot that was a lot man um, I didn't get those boards dang it and I kind of don't want to go back up there for them yeah I don't know maybe then maybe mr. X isn't up there anymore Nope, I hear him. All right. Dude's a dude's a D-bag. <laughs> I don't know what else I can say about him. He's a D-bag. Could have boarded up three of them if I would have just grabbed that other one. There's another cowboy hat. Let's go ahead and save. <laughs> this game seems super difficult. It's definitely a challenge. Grifter with the cheers. I'm still here, you monster. Mmm, coffee. Yeah, this uh, this game is definitely uh, challenging, but in a fun way. I mean, I'm not, like, mad that I'm not doing better, <laughs> you know. Um, 
Okay, so that door's still locked. We're boarded up two windows on this side. There's handgun ammo in there. Mm, nothing else here. We have the stars thing, so I guess we basically gotta go just unlock the stars thing. that knife break? No, okay. Shit. He's right there. <laughs> See, think about it. All this for bullets? Sure, there's nothing else in here. I got everything. Good, 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 good. Mr. X ain't no joke. And all I've learned, like in the last playthrough, we we try to like kill him, and that was pointless, because uh, all we did was we just wounded him. He dropped to one knee, and then that was it. That's all it did. And then he was just stay down for like 20 seconds. I think long enough for us to get all the way to the third floor, but we ran really fast, so I think it was just 30 seconds. Um, run around her. Probably not a bad idea to clear out some of these zombies. At least clear out one or two every time we come in here. And then by that by then it's like should free us up a little bit. You know what? We can go this way. forgetting which way the doors are around here. You're unlocked now, right, bro? He's, like, right on me, too. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Safe. And red herb. Perfect. Hopefully he can't come in here. that room <laughs> yes yes uh, we've seen some of these rooms quite a few times now <laughs> lightning hawk Chris Redfield's fake letter about being a, a, you know, a sexy boy on vacation so it's this we were supposed to get this back and I didn't grab it back the other day because that solves I because I remember we were downstairs and some kid was like in our chat and he was like uh, he was like hey um you know you might want to find the thing that you need to unlock that chamber get you an extra weapon thing and I'm like all right well I haven't found it well here the whole time it was the stars badge and the only reason I knew that is because I when I downloaded the footage last night I was gonna start editing and or this morning and I was like ah screw this I'll just download it I'm not you know I'm not gonna edit it but I happen to just see that that clip and uh, I was like, ah, 
the, it's the star's badge. I'm like, I could probably re-grab it after we use it on the computer. All right, so we need the jack, but I think this is all we can do. shit. That, that zombie hit Mr. X. It actually, like, stopped him for two seconds. Kind of wish this was a save room. He's coming. We're just going to give him the old run around. Um, we're going to go board a third window up in our little section back here. Board this one. Then combine this. All right. And then now we're just going to run to the main hall. And go through that little um, like they go through the you know where we put the three crests. Uh, we're gonna just knock that out real quick. Did we? I think we went through here. Yeah, we did. I was gonna say the lights are on, so yeah, we went through there. That's usually how I let myself know uh, in video games, like that I've been somewhere. If they let you turn and turn lights on and off, um, that's how I kind of give myself the heads up. Is uh, is I'll leave the I'll take the I'll turn the light off or something. Oh, what we could have come down here and then gone back up. Son of a biscuit. Oh yeah, because Claire at this point I guess used that. Whatever game, whatever. What do you know? Oh, these aren't even the same type of bullets. We got the weapons. Oh, you know what? We definitely got to go do that. We're going to save, though, <laughs> just in case I die. Very nice. Um, I think, yeah, what we'll do is we'll backtrack a little bit. We got to go get the shotgun because uh, whatever's down here, I have a feeling it's going to be like a boss because we haven't really fought a boss yet. That is Marvin. Sorry, Marvin. Oh, give me two knives. That's weird. That was a glitch. They both had the same amount of... No, I stabbed him twice. Wow, the game actually remembered that I stabbed him twice? Thanks, game. I thought the knives would, like, would dissolve. Like, you know, it's like, uh... Oh, you used a knife on him earlier, but, you know, now it's gone. But no, doesn't look like it. So we got 11 bullets for that, 3 bullets for that, 1 bullet for this. Oh, is that Marvin again? It is! How many times I gotta kill Marvin? I hear him. He's coming after me. Can he walk down here? Please say no. All right, one knife will store away. Um, I can't remember where we see this. I honestly can't remember. This has one bullet, so wait, hold on. Handgun ammo, boom. Shotgun shells, boom. That's the Magnum. Oh, what? All right, so, yeah, we're going to store that away. We don't need the Magnum yet, I hope. We don't need that anymore. 
Inventory management time. The shotgun. I got a shotgun. It's just not a proper zombie game without one. It just really isn't. Um, let's store about nine of those. So that way we don't get too trigger happy down here. Um, and we'll store about half of these. Fourteen. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I just It helps me be conservative with my ammo, which a lot of times I need to be. All right, and since we made that relatively quickly, I'm just going to save again on top of that one. I know I said I would show more restraint when it comes to saving this time, but I'm, I cannot. Marvin? Is that... Oh, Marvin. Bro. You, seriously? How many times I gotta kill Marvin? It's a new minigame called Kill Marvin. He just keeps respawning. Oh, good. Did I bring the badge? Okay, good. Because this is the room where the badge goes. Wow, okay, thank goodness. Because I was like, oh, we're going to have to run around here for a little bit before we can use the badge. But uh, thankfully, it's right down here. Uh, right there. Oh, what are you? A grenade? I'll take you. I'll give you a good home right inside Mr. X's face. What? The long barrel for the lightning. Of course, I put that away. And I got the badge back, even though we don't need it anymore. Just taking up an inventory spot. That's okay. We'll, uh... Oh, you know what? I'll go through some stuff in the inventory real quick. Howdy again! Welcome back, Lonely. Welcome back, everybody who's here still. Thank you very much for hanging out with us for Resident Evil 2. Leon, be... Oh, shit! Marvin. Dude, we were friends. Friends don't make friends shoot each other, Marvin. Let's get that. Boom, look at that. Oh, now it's two, two spaces. Of course it is. Um, we're going to just leave this. I think 12 shotgun blasts and a couple handgun bullets and a grenade. And they'll probably give us more ammo down there. So hopefully that's enough for what we got to do. I'll stay dead this time, Marvin. All right. Well, it's funny the zombies can come down here, but I guess Mr. X is just like, look, he's just, you know, looking around for heat signatures. Maybe we're just, because we're underground a little bit, he's just, we're not at eye level to him. He can't see us. Because I think Mr. X is a program. Like, he, he has programming in him. So he's, you know, he's kind of, I always thought of him like the Terminator. Like, um, whoa, what's that? That's weird. Shouldn't I be running up there? Because in Claire's B, she was, or Claire's A, she was down here. Yeah. I, I, I think I saw Barry talking a little bit about the lack of zapping. Um, makes sense. I, can, I mean, I guess it makes sense. For, it's probably easier to do it this way than the other way. Whoa! Good God. Whoa! Oh. Get up. Oh my god. Can you imagine being in that kind of pain? You're just like, get the F up.
He's angry. Just go around and collect stuff now. in the F and I, bro. Well, oh, he's this guy's just coming for it. No choice. Got Now. Go, Leon. <laughs> this guy is not joking around. Dang. Oh, dang. Do I got anything? Nothing. Oh, I got the knife. Thank goodness. Shit. Boom! Look at that. We brought just the right amount of bullets. I think I got like two left. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he's creepy as F. They did a great job on him in this game. Dang. Did Sherry Birkin do that? I don't even understand why we're fighting in the same area. Like, I mean, I guess just probably less expensive, you know, to, <laughs> it's easier. That's fine. You know, this game looks great. It's, it's, I'm not complaining. I just, uh, you know, that part of my brain that's like lore hungry, I, I, I have to try to figure things out. I have to know the geography of things. Um, all right, another grenade. Oh, good. I was like, oh, I think I just used the only green herb down here, but nope. Wow, he's he was like, fighting him was a little bit easier to deal with than just fighting zombies and stuff. Oh, we got our knife back. Sweet. I got a knife. No, that doesn't work. And we already came in here. Yep, got everything. Got him. Oh my, this actually looks pretty. What's up, Very Batty? Yeah, this looks great, doesn't it? I think did a great job. Good job, Capcom. Crushed it. Again. In my opinion. Hello, Batty. Yes, everybody send Batty and each other some love. Friends don't bite friends without asking first. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hello. Every time I hear or see someone type Hero, H-E-R-R-O, I always think of that Kim Jong-un joke from uh, the what's that movie the South Park guys made go oh, Team America I was like with the one with the puppets bleed purple <laughs> I don't understand why they don't swap out the hazmat gear who did I miss some hazmat gear oh you mean down down there in that like that room back there all that hazmat gear um Maybe they're supposed to, but then everybody died. Man. I got a hip pouch, cause I'm hip now. Alright. Handgun ammo to 
write that out. Echo, you good? Here, we'll store all of our our stuff there. We got three shotgun shells. That's good. There we go. Hey, Jay Perrin, what's up, dude? I still haven't even played the one-shot demo to this. Oh, man, it's fun. It's fun, but now that the game's out, I guess there's, I mean, I wouldn't say there's no point. If you don't own the game, it's. I would say it's worth playing the demo. Uh, what's up, Jay Perrin? Everybody send Jay Perrin some love. Military man and Nightwing fan. Probably the biggest Nightwing fan ever. Uh, definitely the biggest Nightwing fan ever. is probably stuff. Hmm. Well, we in this area we ran into um, Sherry Birkin, so I wonder if this is like the where the differences start a little bit, where he runs into Ada or whatever. No, 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 no! Whoa, 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 Leon. I like that too. That's kind of a neat thing where it's like, go and what, go and try to activate the puzzle, and that activates the cutscene. Um, crap. Ugh. Get your knife. I think I got one stab left in it before it breaks. Dang. Oh dang. Just finished watching episodes 10 through 13 of Young Justice Season 3. Oh my god, the last two episodes. Oh, don't tell me. Um, I'm going to watch them tonight, probably. Um, when I take my break, I might watch uh, like two of them and then the other two tomorrow or something. We'll see. Um, but I've been loving the season so far. FBI. Information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Hmm. Well, it was nice of her to save his life. I mean, she didn't have to do that. Hey! I'm not done talking to you. Oh, so she's the one that opens that door. Okay. Dude. Uh, I'm thinking the main... I think the main think, thing that's getting me is how freaking good the graphics are. Yeah, it looks more textured compared to RE7. Yes, they spent a lot more time with that. I agree. Um, J. Prince says, I'll never spoil without warning, but you got to let me know what you think of 12 and 13. All right. Without spoiling also, I'll post what I think about it on Instagram after I watch them. Probably, you know, give me like a day or two. Um, I'll get through them this weekend, though, for sure. Get through them. It's like watching Injustice is not a chore. Seek. <laughs> Damn it, my knife broke. This way, nopers. So yeah, this is the area we couldn't go in with uh, Claire. These are all the jail cells. Whoa! Wow, there's more than just Ben down here, uh, locked up. That's so great. We're gonna actually see Ben Bertolucci, I think. That would be great.
Oh, well, thank God that didn't work. <laughs> oh, thank goodness that didn't work. Because I imagine that just releases all the cells. Whoa. Oh. Hey. Look at that. Real they... human. <laughs> Hello, human. You've been here long? Long enough. <laughs> Are we the last ones alive? No. No, there's a few of us. <laughs> That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's, of course, I am sent. Irons. You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? <laughs> the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. Hmm. Same thing to him, I guess. Oh, they changed that up. I mean, no, that didn't. Because I think that's... No, Ben put himself in that jail cell, I think. I'll make a deal. Um, to keep himself safe. Business. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry. I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. Hmm. You gonna stream Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, after this? Uh, probably not. I, I have to still finish Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, so it, when I, by the time I get to 3, it'll probably be later this year. Whoa. Whoa. Well, I... Why did Mr. X kill him? Oh my god. Who is that? It's just me. So we can put that thing away. How do we walk around her? It's like the same thing in the first Resident Evil 2. I'm like, how do we miss her? Um Holy crap, yeah, that was awesome. I think that was Mr. X. But why would Mr. X be programmed to kill Ben? I mean it's programmed to kill anybody, I think. And and to retrieve a G virus sample. So what he said was true. Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. Um, I don't remember that scene from the original. No, in the original it was um William Birkin killed him. Find a way out. Um and it was just random. And uh, I think uh William Birkin like put like a s embryo in him and it ripped through him. And then you had to fight that boss, like that embryo boss. Well, I guess the deal's on. How do we, uh... What in the world? Look at that face. This is an eye, dude. So we gotta solve this. Which is the, um, that puzzle from the chief's office, too. Hey, we got this tool. So that means when we put the panels in... Oh, that sucks. When we put those panels in, that means we're going to have to open the jail cells. Oh, that sucks big time. All right. Wow, these... J I mean, this is the jail cell? This is where they put... I mean, this... this. I guess it's because they retrofitted it from a... Um, from what... This place used to be an art museum. So maybe that's why, because some of the layout doesn't make sense. Because it's like, really, you would, in the parking garage here, you would put the cells. I mean, I guess they're just holding cells, but still. Um, original head chest burster. Yeah, that's it. So we still can't open this, because we need the parts. So let's go get the parts. This is where we fought those liquors last time, and they kicked my ass. <laughs> I guess the liquors can come out through here. That sucks. I got hurt feelings. I like all the reused Final, uh, Final Fantasy, all the reused uh, Res Evil 7 stuff, like that little tin can, or that little tin there. That's kind of fun. We don't have the diamond. Uh, in the darker scenes when you can't clearly see the back of his jacket, my 
Mine messed up, messed me up because I thought it said Leon as Captain America. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, so the so all the ones we shot as Cl as Claire are gone. The Mr. Raccoon dummies. Okay. My roommate's home, and so Echo's like, "Hey, let me out! I want to go see him." But uh, I'll have to. He'll have to wait until we finish his stream. Sorry, Echo. It's okay, bud. We'll go for a walk soon too. What are we getting? For the Matilda. Do I have it on me? Okay, good. Look at that. We made the gun, the, the version of it from uh, from Resident Evil 2. That's nice. So now it's got a, a holster, or a, a, an arm on it to kind of keep it steady. How is your roomie doing? He's good. Thanks for asking. He's doing all right. Alright, we got one grenade. We're probably going to use it in this room. If we can get the liquors to kind of congregate, then I might uh, drop a grenade in there. I don't hear liquors, though. I think I hear dogs. Good to hear. Yeah, he's doing alright. Thanks for asking. That's cool. They made them look like the uh, versions from the movie. Which is cool. Like this this kennel setup looks very much like the movie. I didn't even think about that the first time. I think they, that's how the kennels were. I think they were stacked like that. Because wasn't there a guy just sitting there going like, Hey, no barking. I gotta say, if, if no monsters show up in this, like in this area right here, then Leon made it out easy compared to Claire. Because there was like four liquors in that room. Or th three or four. Just finding all kind of new areas, man. We couldn't do any of this last time because we didn't get that crank. I think you're right about the kennel, am I? Alright, sweet. Goody goody gumdrops. So we're looking for Justin Hansen. He's got some goody goods. Nothing? I can't remember which one of these had uh, bodies in them or items. Clearing up those inventory spots, man. We need them. Even though this game gives you a pretty good amount, I like all the little fanny packs. They're just like, hey. Oh, dang. That got me. <laughs> that got me. Um, it gives you all those little, like, uh, Rob Liefeld leg patches uh, to carry more weapons. Um, it's, I'm, think, I'm so glad they do. I can't wait to see because I'm sure a lot of them are playing it now, just getting used to like strategies and stuff. But 
in like a week or two, maybe. I don't even know if it'll take that long when uh, speedrunners are like able to fly through this game. How their strategy is going to be when it's like, oh, you know, I need to make sure I have, you know, are some of them going to skip the fanny packs or, you know, are they are all the fanny packs necessary um, for a speed run? Like, you know, it's going to be neat. <laughs> LOL. Like, whoa. Bruh. Calm down. Calm down, bruh. Uh, yeah, life of leg pouches. <laughs> Right there, seek. Finally, the diamond key. Where did he? Oh, he was there. Okay. What the? Damn it. Dude, we're gonna use all of our bolts on this one person. Son of a bitch. Boom. We made his head like we made the tissue on his head and skull look like, soft enough to just plow through at that time. All right, so this is a, this is definitely new. We haven't been in here. Hmm. Here's something. I can't tell if it's like a dog. <laughs> like I hear it. I definitely hear something. Um, okay, we don't need this anymore, so let's discard it. This is one of those parts. Nice. All right. Hey, eight people. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Feel free to jump in the chat if you have anything to say. If you've seen any playthroughs of this that you really enjoyed, let me know who those streamers are. Um, if you yourself stream this, feel free to tell me your favorite part. We haven't beaten Leon's yet, so you know if you can, avoid spoilers. But I mean, I doubt there could be too much to spoil with this game because it, it's a remake of the first one. I wasn't surprised too much in the Claire playthrough. The thing that surprised me most was the fact that they added a lot to Annette's character, which I I appreciated, because she felt kind of like just like the flat bad guy in the in the last one. I think they added a nice human touch to her in this one, at least through Claire's story's eyes. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Dang. Remember when we uh, <laughs> we were playing as Claire and a dog went up to a cage, we were outside at the basketball courts, and the dog straight up jumped over the cage. Like we watched it. My face was I I watched that clip back later and I was like, oh crap. Shooting him in the ass. Oh, he's got a brother friend. Why am I missing? Wow. Shit.
Damn, what a waste of a grenade. <laughs> we'll take that. I I mean I cannot believe how shitty my aim was just just then. Cool, we got more shotgun shells. Bro, dang, if I would have <laughs> wow, I mean, they're Dobermans, they're fast, so I should have just I just should have put a slug in them. Wow, that delay off screen explosion made me laugh. Yeah, that was I was like, when is can I blow up? Um, oh, wait, that's the diamond, right? Well, let's go back and unlock that. Wow. Oh! Looks like they're awake. They give a lot of red and blue herbs and not a ton of, uh... And not a ton of, uh... You know, the other herbs, like the green herb. Hey, round boy. Hated, uh, hated using, because I'm like, we're never going to come back down here. So it sucked to use shoddy shells on them, but... Hey, what you going to do, yo? Did this thing unlock? I wonder. Because I know that tunnel leads us back to it. Nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you know what? This way is good. I'm okay with going this way. This is bringing us back into the police station. Okay. Um, we need that. We don't need this right now. We got some mixed herbs. Yeah, let's store that. Bring one of these. I'm gonna keep any like shotgun shells or anything I need. Oh wait, we got a combat knife. Boom. Thank goodness we saved that. And it has been a while, so let's save. Um it was awesome hanging out. I need to go lay down though. I hope you all have a great night. Hey, thank you, Lonely. Everyone send Lonely some love. She's been here with me pretty much all through the playthrough last night and all today so um i think right lonely you were hanging out with us uh but send her some love she's been here with us today so she's awesome she's a good friend all right <laughs> where where to go Mr. X still running about? I'm surprised Claire hasn't put that fire out yet. Didn't she put that out before she went downstairs? I can't remember. We got everything in the art room. Let's crank this. Good night, Symbio. Thank you, Grifter. Appreciate you, appreciate you. And everybody, send some love to Grifter2 and Hainsey um, for the subscriptions for the month. Hainsey hit me with that Prime subscription, and Grifter hit me with that $25 mother effer. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate both of yous. Did 
that has the heart so we don't have that yet um, Yeah, there's the guy. So that's the um, reporting room right there. Shit. And here I am without any boards. We need the heart for that one. And I think the spade for... The spade for that other one. Dude, I wish I could board you up so bad. You look like you needed to be bored up, but I can't do it. I got one handgun bullet. It's ridiculous. One handgun bullet, two shoddy shells. This is Resident Evil, man. Especially first playthroughs. I think a lot of people forget because they're like, oh, this is super hard, you know, and I know Lonely said that earlier, and, and there is truth to that. This is a very challenging uh, game. Oh, here's the board right here. God dang it. Um, but uh, I think sometimes it's just because you know we we sometimes forget those first playthroughs are always the hardest because we don't have like when I think of Res Evil I'm like oh yeah like we flew through that um, and it's it's probably because I had infinite ammo on and you know we're playing on easy and we just you know tore ass through the game um, but uh, yeah that's not how it normally goes right. It's a heart too. Shoot. Dang. Ah, <sighs> dang. Dang it. Let's hope we get them both. Dang it, it won't let me load it in there. Dang it. Make me use my mixed herb. I hate you, game. So wait, Claire's not even the one that's got to put the water out? It's got to be us? <laughs> Whoa. Well, this was a one-way trip. <laughs> Dang. It's like... Come on. Not to, not to be nitpicky. Because obviously you want to get a lot of experience out of the game, and you want people to, no matter what playthrough they're playing, still do certain iconic moments that you, you know, maybe took a long time to create, but... Seriously, the zapping system. You had a chance to improve the zapping system. <laughs> no, not yet. Let's go. I think there's a puzzle piece down here we need to focus on first. Hey, that's open. Oh, shit. Nice. 
Thank goodness, because I did not want to waste this. I was like, I'll shoot him in the head once or twice. He'll fall, and we'll run around him. Shotty shells. There we go. Someone lose a key? <gasps> what? That's where it was? It was in here? That's not fair. This area was like locked up uh, in Claire's. Like we couldn't get over here. So I guess that, ex you yeah, know, yeah, that's fair. What am I talking about? Um, all right, so we'll put that away because that's on the other side of the map. It says we don't need this anymore. I tend to believe it. Um. The Matilda, we don't have any ammo for right now, so we'll store that. Cool. We are definitely going to save. And then about 30 minutes, we're going to take our break. So it's like 7 right now. So yeah, about 7.30ish. Um, I'm going to take like a, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe hour, hour and a half break. Um, I'm going to go eat some food, hang out with my roommate, maybe watch Young Justice, um, and then, depending on how I feel, come back and finish this. But I'm pretty sure we'll be back. I'm enjoying our time together. All right. We got a bunch of herbs I can mix that with. Um, blue... Red. Oh, not not a bunch, just those. So we'll make a super herb, and then we'll store it, and we'll just keep a green herb on us. That's cool, because in the B scenario of the the regular game, you would cut through here, and this is how you would enter the police department as Leon or Claire. Um, so yeah, they definitely like rearranged a lot of stuff. Any bullets? No. I like how easy that pump is to use. And I think there is a slight continuity issue here. Because when you're walking through that hallway, when we played in as Claire, when he crashed before the fire started, you could see the pilot. And then if you look, there's no way you can see the pilot from inside. So there's a slight... I mean, that's not a big deal. It's just me being nitpicky again. We have another problem, though. There's only one way for this thing to move. And that's through him. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?